hey guys welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well and today i want to talk about what things you should look out if you're thinking or planning to buy a 335i the things i i experienced and i know about that could be common faults on the car and you should look out before you buy them obviously check those things now when i say this it doesn't mean every 335i has these problems or faults you know i've seen some videos out there people saying Oh, those are the things that are going to go wrong. It's not really true because half of the things they mentioned never went wrong in my car. Um, obviously, it depends also how you look after the car and there's a possibility, but these are not things that are definitely going to happen. But these are things you should look out just in case they are, you know, they, they're happening and you don't want to buy a car and straight away start putting in money and having problems and headaches. So these are things that could be faults. Never never you know and and saying this i'm telling you guys that owning this car has been so far my best experience you know my best car so far and honestly guys i'm really happy with this car i couldn't think of buying anything else i'm, I'm so happy i done this choice and this car is a great car and if you are thinking to buy this car you're doing a great choice because i really really love my car so here we are in my 335i speaking let's talk about the things that could possibly go wrong and you should obviously look out if you're buying one now speaking from the uk i know that a lot of the 2007 models had an issue a, a, a common that was a common fault with bmw on the run flat alloys so Thankfully, I don't have them because I've got AC Schnitzer wheels, but my mate who had a, had a 2007 before me That's why I bought the car because I got so crazy with his car um, Every two weeks you had to go and replace his alloy why because especially here in London the roads are quite bad with potholes and bumps and humps and all these things here um, And he just forever used to crack his alloys and that was a common fault BMW had on the on the alloys they done because let's face it even with all the potholes and everything it shouldn't happen like this all the time none of these you know most cars on the road have don't have this issue so it was a common fault with BMW the way they made or designed the alloys and they used to get them cracked literally every two weeks no exaggeration he used to pay every week every you know time a, a nice hefty sum to get them uh, fixed repaired or sometimes they couldn't even repair them had to be replaced and I think BMW has actually mentioned that there's been a, a factory you know fault and they might have I think they changed a lot of them but this is one thing you should definitely look out for if you're buying a new 335i not a new one but if you're buying a 335i check why the fuck is it not moving if you're buying a 35, look out for this thing, check that. If it's got aftermarket alloys, obviously you're safe. But if you do have the original M Sport alloys, make sure that it's not the faulty ones. Otherwise, it can cost you a lot of money to replace every time. That's the first thing you should look out for. The second thing you should look out when buying a 335i is the high pressure fuel pump. These have been known quite common that they go wrong. Um, and that's something you should check and the way checking this could be a few ways but a very simple way is just plug your car into a uh, you know a computer thing or what's it called you know one of those things that give you all the codes of the cars that normally would come up high pressure you know high pressure fuel pump error there's a code for it which I don't know exactly but you can google online you'll see a code uh, which means that the high fresh the high pressure fuel pump has got an issue so that's something you should also make sure that it's clear the third known common problem is is called wastegate rattle now the way how you could check this normally is if you rev the car on neutral you will hear a little rattle coming from the front of the car like the side front near the, that's where the noise should come from so you don't want to have that because if you have that that means your turbos can be towards the end where they can die and replacing turbos on a 335i is nearly two grand 
2,000 pounds, so obviously that's the last thing you need when buying a car. So the way to check, as I said, rev the car quite a few times. If it has it bad, you'd probably hear it on the first time, but make sure you check that properly because that's something that can be very costly and you don't want to have that. So here's another thing you want to look out for and check and make sure your car is healthy of is a cracked charge pipe which could ha happen quite often as they're made out of plastic um, so you don't want to see the charge pipe cracked or possibly even the radiator so that's something another thing you should check before buying a car your charge pipe and radiator that they're not cracked and then there is another quite common problem which I had myself on this car is fuel injectors Fuel injectors are also a common fault with the 335 N54 engines. All these things I'm talking about, by the way, are on the N54 engine as far as I know. Um, if you're buying an N55, which is a 2009 or 10, which is a single turbo, then there might be different uh, things. But this is on the N54 based car. Um, yeah, so saying we're talking about the injector. I had my injector go one day, um, it didn't come cheap to replace, costed me about £400 roughly like last year happened. Um, so that's something you don't want to have uh, you know, when you're buying a car. The way how to check that would normally be if you don't feel it in the beginning, as I said you plug in your car and check all the codes, make sure they're all clear and also coil packs which go could go as well um, but these things are not really expensive coil packs but obviously when you buy a car make sure you check all these common basic stuff so you don't end up spending money now I'm not trying to scare you off guys saying that my car I have I rarely had any issues with it I had the injector as mentioned but seriously I really you know I really have this car now two years I have this car now just over two years already time goes fast you know sometimes I even think like I have a year and a half but yeah it's already over two years I have this car and I'm not bored of it as I say every time I love this car um, saying that in two years the main problem I had was the injector I had a few small slight bits and things but I'm not you know these one I think they were maintenance stuff you know they were wear and tear but except the injector i can't really remember of any other issue um, i had a misfire I, as i mentioned once misfire thing a few times but that's gone away engine light is on because of the downpipes other than that so far no issues but either way i've got warranty on the car and another thing i'm telling you guys i look after my car i don't know about everyone else I don't put my foot down if the engine is cold. I let the car warm up properly. I'm sensible. Yes, here and there I want to have fun. I'll put down my foot and you know put down the power, but it uh, doesn't mean I'll do it all day. You know, any car you do this, whether you have a Ferrari or Lamborghini, if you're gonna put your foot down and wreck it all the time, you're gonna have to change things. Things are gonna go wrong. Any car. Any car you have, it doesn't matter. If you're gonna do all these things, you're gonna have to replace, like put it this way, look at Ferraris with 10,000 miles. Look at, if you go on Auto Trader, read the description, cam belts change, this change, that change, this change. How many parts have been changed because they've done 10,000 miles? Because a lot of people do crazy miles in a Ferrari. You know, not in town, but people take on track. Wherever it is, they wear it out so obviously it depends how sensible you, you are with the car and you know it depends all on that as well because if you look after the car things will likely be more safe but as i said these could be common problems so these are things could happen even without uh, killing your car badly um, i'm just trying to think if there's anything else that i know of uh, there's one more issue which I've seen online. <coughs> I've seen this one online. I, I, I didn't experience that, but I've seen online that uh, quite a few people had this problem is the water pump and the therm thermostat that went. And that is also known a known problem, um, which is something 
also not cheap if that goes it's a good few hundred pounds to replace so you want to make sure that is also working correctly on the car anyways guys these are the things I know of there might be other stuff but these are the basic stuff which you want to check because as I mentioned no one wants to buy a car and first thing is start putting in money so yeah so check out these things before you buy the car other than that I'm not trying to scare you off guys as I said listen to this you tell me guys this car's not fun trust me I love this car there's no way uh, I'm not trying to scare the cars brilliant if you want to buy one this is a good choice just watch out with those little things other than that hopefully you'll be fine anyways guys I thought I'll make this small video because I had quite a few questions on my comments asking about all these things here's a video of them and if you do buy one good luck with it enjoy it and guys I hope you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions put them in the comment I normally answer the comments or questions and until next time take care see ya